Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Have you ever heard the uh, the the verse? I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. I want to make sure I, I label it correctly. But I'm going to say it for right now. I'm going to quote it. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Well, let me tell you something. There are times when we, as people, become intimidated by our failures. And our failures seem to mount up on top of us like a pile of football players tackling somebody. But let me tell you, sweetheart, when you get an attitude, I ain't taking this crap no more. You get an attitude, I'm going to die trying, baby, but I'm going to kick butt up in here because I'm not the one going down. And you get that killer drive to get all you can out of this walk with God and get all the victory you can muster up. The devil ain't going to mess with you too much. You'll have to find some other ways. But he knows when you mean business. And he knows when you don't. Now, here's an example. Have you ever watched the, uh, the comedy Archie Bunker, All in the Family? I love it. I always loved it because, number one, the acting was phenomenal. Number two, they really had a way of adding humor to the some of the ugliest parts of human nature and the things we do and say. You know how Archie would, would be all intimidating to Edith and he would tell the old stifle it and, and uh, you know, just he was always uh, almost overbearing at times. And she was so simple-minded. She didn't really get that all the time. And she was still kind and sweet. But there were times. Here was the comical part. He would, he would, yeah, I beat a big, the big boss up in here. Well, Edith, there were times when Edith was determined to have something. And when she had that determination, what would she do? She'd stand up to him under no uncertain terms. No, you're not going to make me not do it. I want it. I'm going to have it. You shut up, and I'm going to go do my thing. I mean, she would just, something would rise up in her. And it was like, no, the buck stops here, baby. Talk to the hand. You're not bossing this out of my life. This is mine, and I'm keeping it, and I got the right. And every, the whole audience would quiet down like, whoa, look at what Edith did. And then they clap, you know. You know, you like to see the, the underdog get some victory sometimes. Well, that is the attitude we should have. No, devil. No, you're not going to jump on me and intimidate me and wear me down and discourage me. I do rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Get out of my face. I mean, you, you have to be. You, you, you notice that when Edith rose up like that, what would Archie do? He'd look at her like, the woman that lost her mind. <laughs> you know, he was speechless because the power was taken from him. You notice it? It was no more, ooh, he was just sit there like a little scolded boy, like, oh, oh okay, golly. You know? Well, guess what? You can shut the devil up. You can get rid of him. And you have the authority to. All you need is faith, determination, and the name of Jesus. Boy, I tell you, the name of Jesus is a powerful tool in our hand. Praising God is a weapon as well. Do you hear what I'm saying? And quoting the word of God. That's what Jesus did on the Mount of, of Transfix. No, no, no. On the Mount um, in the wilderness, when he was in the wilderness. Satan tells him, throw, you know, don't you want bread? Turn the stone into bread. Don't you want this? I'll give you the power of the world. I do all this good stuff. And 
you know, Jesus looking at him and says, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. It is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. I mean, he was just, it is written, word, word, word of God, baby. Excellent weapon. And when you're determined, like Edith was determined, guess what? You're going to have some victory in your life. Now, this is short and sweet. But when you get that determined, you're going to have some victory. You remember in the movie, uh, uh, what is it? Um, I think it was What's Love Got to Do With It? It was um, it was about the singer's life. Um, well, I can't think of it right now, you know, old age. But anyway... What she did, she had an abusive husband. He get high and he started getting real abusive. And um, Ike and Tina Turner. Thank you. And uh, you notice in the scene when he was in the car and he started. Oh, that woman turned around and bopped him. And, and I mean, he was shocked. It was like she had it up to there and no more. If you kill me. You won't remember this booty whooping I lay on you before I draw my last breath. And she tore him up. And then got herself a hotel room and started a brand new life. She broke free. She was determined. You got to be that determined to get your freedom, baby. You got to be that determined to get your freedom. Like, no, devil, you're not going to rape my life not one more time. I'm taking my land. I'm possessing my life. I'm possessing myself. I do not belong to you. I belong to the Most High King. Greater is he that's in me, that's word, than he, than you that are in the world. Hey. Fight, baby. That's why the Bible calls it the good fight of faith. Because it is a fight. You got to be ready to tango. You can't tiptoe. You got to tango, baby, and put your foot where the sun don't shine. Right up in the devil's. Anyway, have a nice night. And God bless you. God bless you to learn to do battle God's way with power authority, and victory. Amen.